Hey you, have you ever wanted to mod Fallout New Vegas but you just had no idea how to do it? Then this video is for you. I've made a video a few months ago about modding Fallout New Vegas. I just felt it was very rushed. I did not put as much effort on it as I should. So now I'm remaking it. First of all, I will be using a mod list that's similar to what I do in Skyrim. If you haven't watched that, I make Skyrim videos as well. I will be enhancing the vanilla game. We are not going to use INBs, we are going to turn the Mojave into the dirtiest, ugliest, roughest place on the world. By the end of this modding series, your Fallout New Vegas is going to look as dirty as the Waffle House toilets look on a normal evening on Christmas Eve. Trust me when I'm telling you this, it's the last place you're going to walk in. And that's the point. Second thing, I will be using Mod Manager. You cannot, and let me stress this out, let me give you a warning. You cannot mod Fallout New Vegas with Vortex or anything else, I don't know. Some people use the microwave or something. You can only mod it successfully with mod organizers, so I will be going through the mods one by one, showcasing you how to do this. We'll be doing this together. Third thing, I will be using the Viva New Vegas. Vegas mod list, at least for the start, so we can get all of the things working together. Viva New Vegas is the best modding guide you can have. I will have links down in the video description so you can check those in addition to the mods. So I will try to take it slow and try to follow those steps one by one. Don't skip any of those because if you skip any of the core files, especially the engine mods, you're gonna have crashes. Sixth thing, I will be prioritizing FPS and stability in the game. In my latest playthrough, I had over 80 hours and I only had one crash and that was in Lonesome Road. I don't know if I forgot anything, but that's pretty much all of the points I want to stress out. And the last thing, if you want to watch more Fallout New Vegas content, you can throw a like, you can subscribe, only 9.5% of you guys who are watching those videos are actually subscribed, so it will help me and motivate me to make more of those videos, and it also helps me to find my audience. Thank you for watching, thank you for your time, and now, pick your riot gear, pick your baseball bat, grab your Nuka Cola, and let's dwell into the Mojave and start doing some modding. We are having mod organizer here as you can see and this is a completely new profile I've made. Now the very first mod we're going to need is the New Vegas Script Extender. This is a newer version, as you can see. This is why when you are making a completely new mod list, you kinda have to change most of the mods because if you are going to run the newest parts of NVSC, essentially it is not going to work with most of the mods you have since most of them they will require an update. I always manually download it and this is also what the Viva New Vegas recommends as well. And I'm going to extract all of the content into my Fallout New Vegas folder. I am going to grab everything and put on my Fallout New Vegas folder. You want to replace everything. And the first thing you want to do with this window, you will be launching New Vegas. So what you want to do, you want to go to your mod manager. You want to select the tool you want to edit. You want to go to the binary here and select the NVSA loader click apply, let's check if the script extender is actually working. You have noticed that our game is not running on full screen. Don't worry about it, we are going to fix that later on once we change the ini files. As you can see, we are having X NVSC 6.3.4 version, which will be the latest version of NVSC. This is the foundation of all of the other mods that will come and get combined. Something important I also want to show you it's a post that comes from st 33 Boy. This is essentially how your Fallout New Vegas lot order should look like. And this is what I've been doing, all credits to that person, to my lot order when it comes to mod manager. Because you want all of your engine mods, then you want to put all of the bug fixes, like the unofficial parts. Every time you download a mod, you can watch this list. The next thing, and this is very important, we want to compress the vanilla textures from the original game with the Fallout New Vegas BSA tech compressor. That means we are going to regenerate the texture files in a much more better quality without it costing too much FPS. You want to manually download this and you want to grab it and extract and it will be linked to your game directory. If it doesn't show, you need to click play and let the game launch so the decompressor will be able to automatically detect it. Go and click decompressor 
decompress. This is going to help so much into fixing the textures. Once the compress is done, close it and we're moving to the next step. You want to go to the Ultimate Edition ESM Fixes and this is essentially what is going to replace our textures with. You want to go and manually download this. Once it's done, we're going to extract and do this together. You are going to create a new file, a new folder and you are going to name it Ultimate Edition ESM Fixes just exactly like what I'm having here. Click the installer and you want to select the file you just created which is this one, the Ultimate Edition ESM Fix. Click select and press install. And by pressing F5 on your mod manager that should finish the whole process. If you have any problems so far or in the future of this video, I have put a link on the Viva New Vegas page where you can check the steps one by one and do it correctly and congratulations you managed to completely fix the issue we are going to have with the vanilla textures so no more buggy textures that they will require a lot of VRAM now you want to grab the Fallout New Vegas 4GB patcher go to the files get the 1.5 version here and manually download it you want to go and extract it and you want to grab this right here the Fallout New Vegas patch and you want to drag it inside your Fallout New Vegas root folder once you do go and click the patch press any key to continue you will get this message that your Fallout New Vegas is patched that means you can now use all of our 4 gigabytes of RAM for Fallout New Vegas which is sadly as many as we can get then you want to go and grab the New Vegas hip replacer go and manually download this and similarly we are going to extract all the contents from this file into our root folder I have done it already so I don't need to do it again but that's how it should be done now let's get our very first mods we are going to download both of those files into our mod manager I'm going to rename this into main plugin this has priority 9 in my lot order by the way we are using all of the DLCs get the secondary file and the thing with mod manager is that as you can see it puts the same name so if I haven't changed the name it will have the exact same name and it will ask me to replace the main file so for that reason I am going to name this ini settings so now we have one of the first engine mods running let's keep going we need to grab Johnny guitar and similarly download that and put it underneath zip as you can see here Johnny guitar is downloaded you don't have to change the name put it as it is here we have the new Vegas stick fix you just need to download it make sure you have all of the requirements again and go to the next link which is the any presets and you want to go and grab the second file the second file is good for those who are using textures above 1k so we're going to have this and we're going to drop this underneath the tick fix that we just got click check and now it overrides the new vegas tick fix then we want to grab the crash logger and we're going to install this the way i'm installing those is the way my lot order should look so should be yours fallout new vegas mode limit fix that lets us have more than 150 modes which was the original value thank god for that go and download this and we're going to put it underneath the new vegas tick fix next we have the animation plugin which is going to help us to install animations think of this like xp32 skeleton for skyrim something similar to that any of the animation mods we're going to get they are not going to work without this framework your lot orders look exactly like mine let's get the improved console i like this one because you can check values through console of objects and things that sometimes they might appear broken other times you might want to adjust them so it helps you so much to fix if you have any issue with an object or two get the console baseboard i don't need to explain too much about this one we're going to get most of the engine mods done in this episode so it's going to be maybe the most boring one but you get the idea step by step we are building byzantium we are building greatness do the same for the next mods basing console autocomplete get the show off x and vsc plugin and i swear to god this is how everybody looks on their very first time when they are modding fallout new vegas
Vegas. By the end of the series, we're going to look like this. I don't know if that's supposed to be a compliment or not. I'm going to install only the main file and the reason is I don't care too much about the ini files because it's been outdated. Go and grab the main file and install it. Go to your downloads on mod manager and put it underneath the basic console auto complete. Do the same for UIO. This is going to help us do any UI adjustments and again our game is going to look very similar to vanilla just a little bit enhanced and let's go and get keyboards which is an amazing mod is this supposed to look like this i have no idea anymore if you see any hallucinations or something weird don't feel wrong about it this is how modding fallout new vegas feels like let's click this on keyboards and we have most of our engine mods ready and running let's make some adjustments to our ini files go and select the puzzle icon right here and go to the ini editor make sure you're in the fallout custom ini files copy paste those exactly as it is go to the videos description find those and copy paste them into your game just like that and click save i don't really need to explain too much about it other than this is going to make your game have much more performance some of you asked me in my previous video why was i making a secondary file and putting those in it was because i was using vortex something you should never do now let's continue with some of the heavy mode unofficial parts you only need to grab the main file right here for all of the DLCs, nothing else. Grab this one and install it. This is essentially the unofficial Skyrim patch. It keeps getting updates and fixes so many things. From you and I unofficial patch and onwards, this is going to be our bug fix section. Above you and I unofficial patch is our engine variety. So you should always categorize the mods and the plugins you have. If you are going to get an engine type of mod, you need to put it over you can iPads. If you get a bug fix version, you want to put it underneath your can iPads. If you are new, it might be complicated, but it's actually easier than you think. Let's continue with the unofficial patch for NVSA Plus. This is an incredible mod. Go ahead and install this. And again, we're going to put this in the bug section. Everything underneath your can I. And let's go to the improved AI Nave Mesh, which is a very important mod to have. Now, you want to grab both the main file and the second optional file file so let's install first the main file you want to get both of those and put them into your mod manager i'm going to leave it with the name it has and click the check mark and now let's download the secondary mode and we're going to give it a name that it will indicate that it is a patch if i pressed ok it will ask me to replace the main file but this is why i'm going to rename it and give it the patch so we know it's a patch for the nave mess so you know which is which you want to go and grab l2 with and engine fixes. This is by the way one of the main developers of Fallout New Vegas who is still running updates for the game. So let's go and download this. Only the main file. You want to go and grab L2E's engine optimization which is going to make everything work so much more better. We're going to the requirements and we need this one file right here. So we're gonna go here, check the requirements and we're going to put this file into our game which is going to fix some of the bugs in the game and on top of that we're going to put the optimizations file next and now let's go to the optimizations here and install that follow the steps as i am putting them right here let's go and grab stories tweaks essentials and also download this one all of those together will help the game run so much more better it will give you many more choices so we have essentially now all of the exodia pieces of l2 we tweak so we can actually move to the next type of mods now we have the combat lag fix it is an incredible mode get this one and download it right away under the bug section we have next let's start getting some of the fun mods here to use and this essentially is going to help us with the iron sights adjuster go grab this one and install it and next you're going to grab new vegas mess improvement this is like static mess improvement for skyrim and you want to grab the main file go also and grab this very long boy right here which is essentially the same thing as the previous file it just covers a bunch of things that the previous file did not cover and go and grab the main file which is the ultimate edition grab the second file right here on the main ones and install that let's go and grab pinboy not fixes which fixes again some of the issues with pinboy and go and grab the main file the improved lightsaders which is going to fix some of the issues in the game because we are not going to use an emp this mod is going to be incredible for what we 
we want to do. Fallout New Vegas is a game where it is not meant to be run with an ENB and sadly many people don't understand that and they keep trying to run ENBs with Fallout. Let's go and grab climate control which is going to allow us to have weathers. And now let's get the fire queue fix. Next we go to the MISC audio fixes and the only mods you need is the main file right here, the assorted voice popping fixes and the Elijah missing distortion fix. Now when you do those type of downloads make sure you copy paste the names so you can actually name them properly once you download them. Like this one for instance, I'm going to name it like this so we know which file is it. For the secondary file I'm going to do the same thing and copy paste the name which is this one right here. Don't let mod manager put automatically its own custom names because it's gonna be very tricky finding those later on. Next let's go and grab the moonlight which adds moonlight into the game, a fantastic mod to have. We have all of the requirements, for now we are dealing with most of the main core files if that makes sense. Go ahead and download this one, it's called P-Boy Shading Fix which sometimes you have a very weird shading or lighting glitch happening every time you check your P-Boy. Get this mod right here which adds higher resolution to the water which is amazing. This mod is going to break your game if you are using an ENB. Go ahead and get the fog based, a fantastic mode. And next we are getting Fallout Alpha rendering tweaks. We are going to download this, go and get the external emittance fix, go and grab the depth of field fix as well, install the muzzle flashlight fix. Next we are getting the street light corrections which correct some of the street lights in Fallout New Vegas. Grab the crafty consistency fix and only get the main file over here. Go and grab the XCRB extended room bounce and download this one, you want to go and grab the full version on YAP exactly as it is, you want to click next because we are not using a world of pain and click install and take it. Go and grab the street lights region fix and install only the main file, do not install any of the optional files and let's go to ammo script fixes which again fixes some of the stutter you are going to have with some ammo and many other issues. This mod came out this year and fixes creatures to be able to swim again. I also recommend you to go to the saved games right here, go to the endorsements and try to grab a save file like I have this one which I am using to skip the intro. Go to the files, manually download it and once you're done downloading you want to go to your documents, go to your games, go to Fallout, New Vegas, go to save files, you want to extract it over here which is going to help us check all of those mods and how they work. So let's actually go in game and do the very first try and see how it looks. Don't forget to have your steam open so the game can run and also launch it by the NVSA loader. We are having 46 mods already installed and as you can see everything runs. We have the full screen because again we have adjusted the ini settings and look how fast this loaded. We have gained all of the Exodia pieces of the steel with tweaks and we've combined them together. You should have your save file which is this one right here. Ignore this, you just want to use that to check again if your game runs. We have it installed any graphical modes, everything looks completely vanilla as you can see and it has the same feeling, we're going to change most of those later on. As you can see everything works, there is no stutter and let me actually get through this again. I've done this process so many times, I just know that everything works, everything again looks very nice, oof I bet that hurt a bit. But that being said, let's go back into modding the game. Do you remember when we installed the Fallout New Vegas stick fix? Let's go ahead and open this one, go to this file go to plugins, go to the ini files and what you should do, you want to go here to the B modified directs behavior and go and put this on one and also make sure this value is exactly like that, the default pool for textures is at one. Close it up and save the changes you've done. Now that being said, I wanted to have this be the very first short episode guys, so I'm going to close this one because I want to see if this video will have enough follow ups or likes so I can actually put enough time to continue those series. If you want to see a complete series of me modding Fallout New Vegas into the game it deserves to be, feel free to throw a like to show me that you want to see more of that. That was the episode 1 of modding Fallout New Vegas. Thank you for watching guys, stay awesome, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye and happy modding.